السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رضوان الله family welcome to a new episode of رضوان الله show I'm your host life and wealth maximizer Hussein Mahmoud working to help you completely maximize your life and wealth in this dunya and in the akhira for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Verily all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator owner and sustainer the one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries and may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family his companions and those who follow him until the day of judgment Allahumma amin and inshallah in today's episode what I wanted to wish you and your loved ones and talk about is Eid Mubarak Eid Mubarak from my family to your family and to everyone across the globe in this joyous holidays the true holiday Eid Al-Mubarak bi-idhnillahi ta'ala Eid Al-Mubarak and also I wanted to remind myself and you to not forget about the virtue and the blessings of fasting six days of Shawwal bi-idhnillahi ta'ala so that's what we're going to get into Eid Mubarak and the six days of Shawwal bi-idhnillahi ta'ala so stick with us throughout this whole episode so we can share as much and derive as much value as we possibly can as we possibly can for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, so just to dive into real quick the sponsors announcements and updates our primary sponsor is Radwanullah.com uh, which is an organization that's built to help you completely maximize your life and wealth in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can support that and, and give us uh, your constructive feedback as well. Bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. And also, uh, if you would like to sponsor this show, send your request, budget, and details to RidwanullahOrganization at gmail.com. Uh, Radwanullah university's life maximization program the islamic personal development program is up and running um, and i hope that you guys can join us it's thirty dollars per month uh, the links in the description below uh, to help you maximize your life be the ilahi ta'ala and i'm also developing a new program that i've been in the works for a little while now uh, but hopefully inshallah when it's mature enough and ready enough to deliver sooner or later um, inshallah, um, you guys will be able to be aware of that and you guys can join us in that program as well. Bi-idhnillahi ta'ala jalla wa'ala. And also, I do speaking engagements and one-on-one -on -one coaching and cons consultations either online or offline. And send your request, budget, and details to radwanullahorganization at gmail.com and that will be greatly appreciated. It supports the business and the organization and we help to and, and we look forward to supporting you as well be even ta'ala so it's that uh, altruistic perspective as well be even ta'ala so with that being said um the the topic of today Eid Mubarak and 6 days of Shawwal so first and foremost you know um there's a lot of, especially the muslims who are living in the west um, there's a lot of celebrations that come our way and there's a lot of different aspects of it that are being bombarded to us one way or the other and sadly some Muslimin have adopted those ways and those celebrations and they're numerous depending on the situation or the country or the locality that you live in uh, but you know as Muslims we only celebrate three holidays right Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha and um, Yawm al -Jum'a as those are the three main holidays that we celebrate as Muslimin and we should only focus on celebrating those holidays and the other holidays that are there that we should be uh, exerting our efforts and our energy is very very important but you know just as you know other individuals and especially with us we should not take our celebrations out of the context of our deen we should look at how our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and those who follow him until the day of judgment have celebrated their Eid and have celebrated um, the celebrations of these holidays. Um, and we should stick to that and keep it specifically on that. 
um, and follow that straight path ta'ala. but within that same token we should celebrate it to the max we should you know do the absolute best that we can within the means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with and for me I've realized we do not give enough energy and effort to these Islamic celebrations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wa ala has blessed us with and we should take this time and this energy and this effort that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with and making this a joyous holiday, making this a real holy day um, and making this a joyous, uh, a blissful, successful holiday by giving it the most energy and effort in in in, in 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 bidnillah ta'ala meeting our loved ones and our brothers and sisters in islam and our co-workers with the best of uh energy and the best of joy and the best of um uh you know uh, vibe whatever word that you use you know meet them with the best of energy and the best of spirit bidnillah ta'ala and you know that's what we should work towards and that is how we need to present ourselves uh, in, in in front of the people for the in, most importantly in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wa ala, and also in front of his creation for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know if there is obviously this is uh, unprecedented time that we're in where the reality of the circumstances is completely different uh, we have to get used to a whole new normal of life um, and I hope that you do that as well, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. And I'm going to try to do that as best as we can, uh, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. So that is what I wanted to talk about is, you know, make this a very, very happy read for you, your loved ones, your, your children, your parents, and everybody else that you're coming into contact with within your means, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala, or even uh, to, to the best of your means, you know, uh, bi'idhanillahi ta'ala. So that's what I'm planning on doing, and I hope that you do the same thing as well. Be um, Allah Taala. So that's one thing, you know. Max out your Eid and do the absolute best that you can, and you know, spread joy, spread the joy that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has gave us. And be Allah Taala. If you are devoid of joy, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala bring joy back to your heart and soul your mind and gut and body and all of the other aspects of your life uh, ta'ala um, and spread joy and if you're not feeling too well obviously do the best that you can to not put others down but to build others up ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those and I hope that you have a wonderful amazing Eid Mubarak an amazing joyous Eid bi'idhanillahi ta'ala and with that same token, we, we're in the month of Shawwal, obviously heading into it. Um, and within the month of Shawwal are six days of fasting, where by completing these six days, بِإِذْنِ Taala, you will get uh, the, the, the reward of fasting a whole year. Now imagine fasting a whole month and the hardships and the struggle and the value and the benefit that you get from that. Now can you imagine... Um, you know, being rewarded as if that, as if you fasted the whole year, and by only adding six more days into the month of Ramadan during the month of Shawwal, whether you do it consecutively or it being broken down into the whole month, you're gonna get that reward, right? And it's an unbelievable reward. And um, you know, I've been reminded myself so as a favor. Uh, that was done upon me, I wanted to return that favor upon you, is to remind you of the six days of Shawwal. You know, for most of us it's a habit, for, so for some of us we have no clue, for some of us we're struggling with it. This is the time to really, really focus on it and do the absolute best that you can during the last uh, last 10 days and the last week of Ramadan and finishing off strong, بِإِذْنِ Taala. But do not forget the six days of Shawwal. Um, that's just to make sure that you get back on track and that you stay on track even after Ramadan. And how do you know that your Ramadan has been accepted? Amongst the ways of the ulama have mentioned is that your bad habits, you, you, can, you, you let go of the bad habits and you develop good habits and you build upon the good habits that you have and they last past Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. That's how you know that this is a part of the acceptance 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have been granted the permission to be relieved from your bad deeds and habits and you have been granted the permission to be alleviated with the good deeds that you've developed and the good deeds that you have developed and the good deeds that you are building upon that is how you know your Ramadan has been accepted and I ask and I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our siyam, our fasting, our Ramadan, our uh, salah, our qiyam, and everything good that we have done, our sadaqah, our zakat al-fitr, if you haven't given that, please give that as soon as you possibly can. And all of these different amazing things, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to benefit from that. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wa ala to help you and help me through this amazing opportunity and allow us to make the most out of it. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائل المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وهو البر الكريم. I hope that you've benefited from this episode and I hope that has opened your eyes to a couple of things that are amazing. And if you if if you are subscribed to this channel, جزاكم الله خير. Really really appreciate it. If you are not. Please press the subscribe button, um, and if you've liked this video, please press the like button. Um, and also, what have you? What do you think about you know the last ten days of Ramadan and the last week of Ramadan and finishing off strong? What are you doing to finish off strong? And leave it in the comments below. Be um, taala. And also, if you know someone who could benefit from this episode and who could utilize the last ten days of Ramadan and the last week of Ramadan to the best of their abilities. And also, Eid, actually, this is Eid al-Mubarak in the six days of Shawwal. I think I got him a little bit mixed up. So, yeah, Eid Mubarak to you and your loved ones. <laughs> and someone who could benefit from... Uh, yeah, so the comments is about Eid, Eid Mubarak and the six days of Shawwal. And if you know someone who could utilize this Eid Mubarak and reminder of the six days of Shawwal, send this video to them as well, and that'll be greatly appreciated. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Jazakumullah uh, khair. Oh, just real quick, a recap of the sponsors' announcements and updates. Um, Radwanullah.com is our primary sponsor, and if you would like to sponsor uh, Radwanullah show, send your request, budget, and details to Radwanullah at g Radwanullah organization at gmail.com. Um, Radwanullah University's life maximization program is up and running. Find the description uh, in the in the link below. Uh, the details in the description in the link below. I'm also coming up with a new program that I've been planning and preparing and thinking about and developing for a very long time. So keep an eye out for that. If you would like for me to speak at your next event or you would just like for me to coach you one-on-one -on -one and cons co coach and consult you one-on-one -on -one or with your group either online or offline, send your request budget and details to Ridwanullah organization at gmail.com. I hope that you've made this a wonderful Eid al Mubarak and the six days of Shawwal. Um, Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning into a new episode of Ridwanullah show. I'm your host, life and wealth maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your life and wealth in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.